because it, this is example how uh, how I set up uh, three analog instruments in some interesting way. That's why I want to explain that. So uh, exactly on the, on the last session, you can see and hear how I operate, and that's actually interesting. So. Um, the sequencer from MS1 is a very simple sequence program and it plays bass line as you can hear. But I use the gate and CV out connected to model D and therefore model D plays the same notes. But then I use uh, tuned oscillators to, to the fifth in map correct and then uh, so the the notes played by the model D are uh, not exactly the same. It's kind of like a chord, and of course I can then tune that by octave up and down. And what is interesting, I also use a filter gate and uh, fed from MS1 and. Uh, uh, so the and velocity, so it opens a filter on 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 the model D. But um, but that's a very interesting thing. Is I use the mix output, mix from the three oscillators, and I get into the the TD3 filter in, and this way actually uh, I'm feeding the TD3 with the with the same notes, but not exactly the same because here. It goes only from here goes out on the oscillator, so actually like a chord of three notes. And also additionally, there is a note. It's very quiet, but it's a note from the from the TD3, and obviously the entire section of modulation, filter, cutoff, and resonance. Everything works. So um, that's a very interesting effect. I tune it. It was kind of a tricky to tune it, but tune it. Uh, using my ears, so the, there is a, there is a kind of like a chord. Interesting thing is this bass line is is kind of like in a major, but uh, the chords are in a minor. But anyway, so this is like a, I would say five minutes hack job because not much actually uh, programming. I just program a few notes here and and use uh, patches. Uh, old school method to create the, the use sequencer and, and, and semi-modular uh, synthesizer to make, make sound. And there's a lot of um, reverb and delay on both. Obviously there is also um, uh, modulating the filter from, from MS as, a, as I mentioned in the beginning, but also I use uh, LFO as you can hear. And uh, actually, those two instruments they, they, they just do very little additional things. And uh, TR Roland uh, does very same thing as usual is drums. So, this is kick 808, that the congos are 808, hi hat I think is at 108, 1909, and then the rim shot is from 808. I use a mixture of AO8 and 909. It just depends the snare is certainly 909. And this is it, you know, M musically it is five minutes hack job because there's not much like programming and all those parts kind of things you know you can hear. It is it's just made on, on those three combinations. You know? Obviously with addition to, to reverb and delay and I used a uh, replica delay from uh, from the machine. I think it's great. I have it mapped on a MIDI controller so I control the, the feedback and modulation etc. And well I think uh, this is that's it actually, you know, very basic, simple things. That's why I love electronic music because uh, it, with some basic knowledge about uh, the, the music theory, uh, you can make music, right? You don't have to program each and every line of the instrument because the other instrument could be triggered by uh, velocity or other things, you know, or gate. Even one instrument could be triggered by the other, and uh, you know, you can make music just just using that. You know, uh, take advantage of, of electronic uh, instruments. 
and they operate that way. And that, that's a, that's beauty of that, you know. The tuning this, is, every oscillator has to be tuned uh, separately, and they, they uh, because they are analog, they like to drift. So it's a five oscillators to control, you know, a lot of work to actually setting up. It was very easy, but then when I want to record it, then this one is a little drift. This one, that's uh, it was a lot of tuning, you know, and. Uh, that's also why I like to use machine because inside there is a guitar rig, some very basic free version, but there is a guitar tuner inside, and I use the guitar tuner um, extensively for for tuning all the synthesizers. Very handy, and I think that's it.